A few days ago, I found an interesting article that I want to share with you. I found it just by occasion, and I don't see a lot of uh, discussion about this, so I want to raise it because, in my opinion, it's very interesting article. It uh, allow you to generate anything from anything, and uh, basically, when I say anything, it's like video, text, uh, or image, or audio as input as and as output. Uh, in my opinion, it's the first work in this field, like a multi-domain neural network to generate anything from anything. And the result, in my opinion, are comparable from other different networks. Uh, at least for now, they benchmarked this neural network only about only for audio generation. But uh, in my opinion, the video generation results or image generation result are basically comparable. So let's look at the article. The article is written by the authors from Microsoft, and uh, here is the ba basic concept of the article. Uh, like, you could took different prompts, and it will, this, the same network will generate the set of outputs. And uh, here is like some results uh, that uh, this article generate. Uh, the interesting concept about uh, audio and video, at least uh, the audio and video in the example, they are not synchronized and they have different lengths. But here in these samples, they are synchronized in the same video. So probably it's some different regime or just uh, cherry picking of different audio and video tracks. Uh, of course, the image generation look much better than uh, video generation, but it's like a common problem for modern networks. Mm, some simple cases are uh, super cool, but like uh, some hard sense are pretty bad. Mm. And as uh, you can see, usually the audio is some uniform uh, sound of the noise, like waterfall noise, some train noise, or something like this. And uh, it's the case because in reality, uh, I will show you that this audio are not good in the article, but they comparable to lots of different articles like this. So it's not the best uh, uh, code to generate some piano music or something like this. Uh, here is the uh, GitHub repo of this project. And in this uh, GitHub repo, it's just like uh, uh, contact create pip install and so on. Uh, but in reality, it's not easy as it looks like here, because you will need to install a few additional libraries because not all the libraries in requirements. For example, of course, you need to install Jupyter Notebook to test the example, and uh, so Also, uh, I will show a few problems in the code, but, uh, okay, let's move and run this. So, let's quickly run through the code. Uh, here is the load function. And you need to append here this model. 
uh, because it's not present in the first version of this initialization. So after that, this initialization is pretty long. After that, you could run image generation, and it's kind of fast, in my opinion. Uh, but of course, this uh, machine, uh, this machine has a one hundred GPU. Uh, of course, you need power soft too. Uh, this machine has. Uh, A100 GPU and the generation is fine. Uh, I think this is one of the most interesting uh, points like audio generation and of course it's like not excellent uh, but uh, <laughs> We do have piano here, but it's as I mentioned, it's not excellent. We could use some other mm, mm, sounds. Something like this. Sorry. Uh -huh. It's similar, but usually it generates something different from. The, it's pretty often generates something different from what they mentioned. For example, like for piano, it doesn't generate the clear uh, sound. It's just generates one like the music with piano. And probably like here it's not the clear sound. It's just like uh, I tried few different uh prompt like some I don't know Mozart sound, Mozart music or Bach music and it couldn't generate it. So probably the data set was pretty small, but Sometimes it generates pretty interesting music. And the next interesting part is, of course, the video generation. Mm. The videos are small. Uh, it could generate only 8 frames per video, like 2 seconds, 8 frames. But, and, but you you can change the image size. And, uh, for example, mm -hmm. just like this, the generate. Uh, sorry. Uh, The generation of video is pretty fast. The videos are not excellent, of course, uh, but they have uh, they have the style, same style over the video. And uh, style is doesn't change it. And for example, uh, so the main problem, is my opinion, is the uh, amount of frames for generation and. Uh, the sequences are too small uh, and uh, probably it could be started from the same 
image. I don't know, but the quality is not excellent, as you can see. Uh, So if you will start generating the video of bigger size, uh, the speed will drop significantly. But for this side everything worked pretty fine. And of course the video generation is worse than generation of the single image. Uh, there are a lot of stuff like multi uh, multi domain generation for example something like uh, text to video and audio uh, and here is a dandelion on the wind uh, and the generation is slower, but let's check. Probably the is. But of course the video doesn't synchronize with the audio, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, and let's test this one. I don't know. No matter if it should sound. It's, uh, so, in my opinion, it's pretty interesting work. It's uh, really universal embeddings for. <laughs> sound like this, the Pink Floyd song, I assume. Okay, so in my opinion it's generate pretty interesting. Uh, content, content and okay, let's wait for the next version that will give us definitely the better quality and we will need don't need any camera and so on thank you for watching see you next time bye